Good morning, folks. Top event on our star the last day was a northeastern filament eruption that was beautiful to watch erupt and will completely miss our planet. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we see solar flaring remains quite low, and that is to be expected with so few and such simple sunspots. Only the trailing group has any potential. Solar wind? Calm as can be. Earth's magnetic shield grabbed his shades and swimsuit and has been given the day off. Otherwise, we saw nothing too important. Still got the rest of those filaments to watch, however. And you might also remember that the coronal hole directly faced Earth yesterday. A bit bigger than I thought it would be, and what do you know? An extremely rare earthquake strikes Barbados. This was part of a 12-hour uptick in the area that not only matches the coronal hole timing perfectly, but was an earth spot signal of energy release from ground to atmosphere that will drive the production of our first equatorial Atlantic storm in a while, slated to run right over the earthquake epicenter. Not a coincidence. Top news, we're back at Pluto because this is awesome. Methane, we were just talking about the possibility for life on Pluto now or in the past, and boy, that helps. Let's also recognize that Japan is under a major disaster threat from that typhoon right now. But, back to the Earth spots, take a look at the penumbral ridges on that thing. For newbies, our book, which has moved into the editing phase, details this very well, but for now, just note that the ridges are essentially parallel to each other, yet always pointing back towards the center. What are the observers watching now? Featured public video is still The Sun is Going to Sleep, which details the heliophysics breakthrough of the decade. You can find it at spaceweathernews.com, suspiciousobservers.org, or you can just Google The Sun is Going to Sleep and look for that pretty colorful sun image. Website members, we're featuring the Electric Earth and Sun page today. Got a lot of original research and some of the coolest stuff on the site. We have our top alerts from lows and convergence lines in our top viewer locations. And since Helio Viewer is down, we're at SDO for shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.